Stand by, Tom, on two. Five, four, three, two. Two, Tom. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Midlands Today, which tonight comes to you for the very first time from our new broadcasting centre here at Pebble Mill, Birmingham. <laughs> Another nationwide show, and for the first time ever, I'm not speaking to you from our old studios in the centre of Birmingham, the studio above a car sales room, the studio that was so small, every time you stood up, you hit your head on the chain. This programme comes to you from our Swish New Broadcasting Centre here at Pebble Mill, a mile or so from the Birmingham Bullring, and appropriately placed, so some people say, opposite the Birmingham Zoo. This is the new Studio B, where I work every weekday, now, of course, in colour. But it's not just nationwide and Midlands today that you'll be seeing from Pebble Mill. This large Studio A will be one of the BBC's regional centres of drama. But television isn't the only thing to come to you from the mill. Just behind that door is radio's most famous family. Dying to hear all about everything from Mr. Woolley. Well, I am too. Well, then, you crackpot. Why stay? dash off when you know he's due here any minute? Because I don't want to look too eager, especially after he was so good and went out of his way to put me mind at rest last week. Now, wait a minute, Tom. The archers when have been Mr. with us Woolley now for nearly 21 years. But radio hasn't stood still in that time. No, you know, in the old days of sound radio, if you were to hear hoofbeats during a play, there actually was a little man standing in front of the microphone with a couple of coconut shells like this. But like everything else these days, the coconut shells have been transistorized. Now this machine is a program effects generator. For example, if you want to hear the sound of a very heavy storm, or if you want to hear the sound of warfare, Well, if you just joined us, a uh, very good morning from us here at uh, BBC Radio Birmingham. Yeah. Yes, welcome to the Ross and Henry Show. We are at Radio Birmingham, haven't we? We haven't got the wrong place again. Remember last week? Yeah. Radio Bristol were most upset. Yes, yeah. And um, we were when we didn't get the check. <laughs> <laughs> that was Julie Felix, by the way. We're not crediting the records this morning. They do uh, play a small part in the programme, you know. Was that the right side or the wrong side? That was the right side, after oh, all. Yeah. I thought I'd just right. got put the back side on by mistake. <laughs> Shame that, wasn't it? <laughs> And that's not all at Pebble Mill, because there are five other sound broadcasting studios, there are network switching centres and, well, all the rest of the paraphernalia which goes up to make a modern broadcasting centre. So, from this uh, custom-built palace, the latest jewel in the BBC's crown, we now return you to the old Gorman British film studios at Lime Grove. <laughs> 